Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps and um, something I thought I'd bring to your attention. So there's a new WhatsApp Messenger update. You can see that on my iPhone right now. So I know it's out on iOS. It's probably, I'm not sure if it's out on Android yet or if it's already out on Android, but I know it's on iOS right now. As you can see the date, July 16th, uh, 2017. So why are we talking about this update? Well, they've added some nice stuff. So you can see... You know, you can pin a chat to the top of the chat list, so you can always um, pick it quickly or find it. Um, and you can now send and receive documents of any type. So that's what I really want to talk to you guys about. You can also send and receive multiple photos, which you could do anyway, right? But I suppose you can and hold on a group of photos to tap quickly to forward or delete them. So that's good. So the main one I want to talk to you about is point number two. You can now download... Uh, send documents of any type and that's up to 100 megabytes before you could only really forward PDFs I think um, Now the problem with It's great if you're you know if you've got work colleagues and they're sending you files or you know, your friends sending you Whatever docs or whatever things to help you with but it can also be used maliciously now remember You know people like to send it's just like someone sending a virus or something or a file to your email on your laptop and you're opening it Right now, a hundred meg file in your WhatsApp. What if you clicked on it and it was it was malicious? Okay, so you guys need to be real careful what you're opening, and make sure they're from trusted sources. You know, people you know, people your friends. So don't just open up random pictures and links um, or documents that can run scripts and stuff on your phone because they could, you know, they could be malicious. So they could extract information from your phone. They could lock your phone out for a you know, for a Bitcoin fee or some kind of ransom. We've seen that a lot now recently with the NHS and companies around the world being being blackmailed or, um, you know, being blackmailed into uh, paying out money so they can have their files decrypted and, and me being made available to them. So you need to be real careful with point number two. You can now send documents of any type to send a document, open chat, tap, attach, and document. Now, the other thing is, is, you know, someone can send you a someone who's maybe not on your friends list or on your phone, can and they got a hold of your number, which you can get hold of in any number of ways nowadays. You know, there's massive email and number groups. You know, when you register on some website and you have to put your phone number in, that information gets shared. So your number could be shared. So they could, you know, they could spam every WhatsApp user with a document, with an attached document, which could be risky business so please be aware of what you're opening what kind of documents you're opening or files you're opening make sure they're from trusted sources um to protect your phone if you do by chance click on and open something that you do not know who the sender is and you think it's malicious try and run the anti uh, anti uh, virus software on your phone immediately there's loads available on google play um uh, or sorry ios and app store and google play for android I'm an Android user, you can tell that by me by by talking about Google Play first. <laughs> um, so just be wary of that with this new update on iOS. Uh, be safe, be happy, peace out to everyone. Please like and sub, sub the channel, thanks guys.